Hi guys, I have a super easy, super fun craft with me video for you guys today. This is going to be, um, I'm calling it like my 3D paper dolls. I'm just kind of jazzing them up and adding a few extras to make our little ladies pop. So this is what I've been doing. This is what I've been working on. I have been wanting to do this forever, ever since I got these larger paper dolls, but just hadn't had the time to do it. But look at this. I just kind of jazzed up their dresses and made them like 3D, I guess. And so this is what we're doing. We're making these really pretty tags and we're just kind of adding to their little dresses. So I have a bunch of different um, things that we can use. Like for example, I have this whole little container full of, like we have these little chiffon rolls that we get at Hobby Lobby. And then I have a bunch of um, just extra lace and ribbons and I have this really fun trim and so we're just going to use a little bit of everything. I, I used a button here for her little belt and this one I mean I'm just using a glue gun and some extra little tidbits that we have. This is um, this ribbon and I just made it into her whole skirt. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I love it. And then this one, I didn't want to do the whole thing, so I just did this little trim on the bottom with um, the chiffon um, here. And then I did like the little belt with the little flower. And that was all I did for her. And then, of course, this one was my first one. I had to do her. She's the little one with the little ballerina tutu on. And so I just got some of my beige lace and I made her tutu look lacy. Isn't that cute? So this is what we're doing. I just thought that this would be super fun. And, you know, I, we all love making tags. And so I thought, you know what, let's just do it. So I came, um, no, I went and I looked and I found a few that I thought might work for us to kind of jazz them up a little bit. And so here are my few that I want to try and make. And so I did try with like maybe some like the, the chunky glitter and some beads. So this one looks okay. I'm not 100% happy with it. The chunky glitter I think works. Um, the little glass beads, mm, not so much. So uh, I don't think we're going to do this one today. And then I did try it again on this little girl with her little pearl dress. But again, not my favorite. I still really like the whole lacy bits of all of our, our other ones that we've the walleye that I made that we're gonna make together. So get all get out all of your extra ribbons, laces, trims, all of that. Warm up your heat gun, your glue gun. I would suggest now I've been a crafter for a long time, so the only one that I have is a hot one. But if you can find the, um, what is it called? The, the low heat, a low heat glue gun, because we're going to be working with our fingers to try to work the glue gun with our trim. So we'll see that. But they do, if you guys don't have one, they do have them super cheap, under $5, a low temperature one at Walmart. I checked. And so they have one for like three or four dollars super cheap so let's get started let's see let's do her because I love her dress and if you can tell in some of them I did like cut out their arm a little bit or their hands just so that they can be a little bit more visible and they're not hiding behind their skirts and so I did kind of cut along that so that they can come out a little bit isn't that cool and along uh, again with this one. So I cut out her hand as well, just so that, you know, it's not hiding in the back. And so with her, I might do the same thing, maybe just cutting because it looks like she's holding like a diploma or something. So we might need to trim out her arm just a little bit. I'm thinking that this arm might be okay, but we're gonna go ahead and 
not trim it, we're just gonna cut along so that if we need to, we can put her hand above. I'm think, I think I'm just gonna cover, I'm just gonna go up a little bit because I don't wanna cut it all the way, you know what I mean? So just like this, so where we can put her little, her arm above her skirt. So let's see, what should we do? I really like this idea and this is just the chiffon, but I also have some ribbon, this little lacy stuff, which I think would be really pretty just to kind of layer it, I think. It might be a little too thick, but I think we could work with it. We might need to double it over a little bit. I don't know yet, let me think. I might have to do it like this, just so that we can still see her shoes. So let's try it this way. Maybe I should bring you guys in just a tiny bit more, just so that you guys could see what I'm doing. Okay, there. So let me go ahead and I think I have my glue gun ready. Yeah, it's ready. Okay, so this is a really old glue gun. I have, you know, those really pretty ones, but, and it's a sure bonder as well. But you know what? It's one of those, I was gonna say wireless. You know what I'm talking about? That you just put it on the charging little station. See here, I'm putting just a little bit of glue and then I'm gathering it up so it gets like a little bit of a ruffle. So you wanna do just a tiny bit at a time so that you can work it and pushing it down at the same time so you don't get too much of a bulk there. And then we'll get our scissors and trim it off. Okay. We might need to put, yeah, we might need to put another little drop here. Okay, then we're gonna do our second layer. So let's see how far up I want it. Let's do this one. If you guys didn't know, let me tell you. I, what started my crafting, <laughs> my crafting journey is the are making um hair bows for my daughters i have three daughters and so i started making hair bows to match their outfits and so i have collected a lot of trim and ribbons and lace and all of that just to kind of give myself more to work with and so I have a lot I have a lot left over and so I'm trying to figure out how to still use them but in a junk journal way let me move this because I want to use that for my tags I want to make sure that you guys can still see me okay so let's go ahead and put another yeah, about at her hips. So let's do one here. Put it here and then just start scrunching. Scrunching, scrunching. Pushing it down at the same time just so that it, it doesn't stay lifted too much. And then we trim. These are so easy and they come out so pretty really happy with it now with this because I had to cut her and I think I might need to cut her hand just a little bit further up I'm getting caught in my ribbon there let me cut her hand up just a tiny bit so that we can put right under here that last layer I'm just holding it open just a tiny bit with my hand so that it doesn't glue shut. And then we just scrunch it and push it down. I think I might need a little bit more here at the corner. 
because as I'm scrunching, I'm pushing the glue kind of away. There. Oh my gosh. Come on. What happened here? There it goes. Keep that little bit. <gasps> How cute is that? Okay, now we can trim just a tiny bit just because I don't like the way that corner looks. Just kind of going along with the silhouette of her original skirt. And then we can put maybe like a little trim at the top, some type of uh, like a little belt or something. Let's see what we have. See if I have anything that we can put. It doesn't have to be white. We can put like a, I know, let me see. Do I have something in here that we could use? No. my trims all over the place you guys I think I wanted something a little bit more solid mm, I'm trying to see if there's anything else um, oh. we could just put a bow let's just put a pink bow I think pink would be really pretty come on get out a little piece of pink and then we'll add a really cute little bow here yeah so we'll just add a drop of glue see and this is why I tell you if you're not used to working with the glue gun you might want to um, to use the low temperature one. Oh yeah, that's cute. And then we can put a, maybe like a little flower in the middle. Let me just put a little dot of glue here. And then put this right here. Right in the middle. to trim this off just a tad bit okay and then I have these mini little flowers I'm telling you I have stuff galore so let me bring you back out okay so I have all these little Oh, I could have put just one of these. That was that was dumb. I could have just put one of these because these are already made. But that's okay. I wanted to put a little flower. We could put a beige one. That might be too big, right? Maybe if I can kind of smush it down a little bit. I think I might want to take off the little green. So let's cut that off. I wanted to make at least two with you guys so that you guys could see what I'm doing. And I just thought that this will give us like a little bit of dimension, right? In our crafts, in our tags, just by adding their little skirts. I was trying to see if I can find a tutorial or something on YouTube um, to see if anybody's done this. I didn't, I was trying to word it different ways and I didn't see anything. So I'm hoping this will be something new to you guys. But look at that. Isn't that the cutest? And then you can still see her little shoes. <laughs> oh, I love it. Very cute. Okay, so there's one. Let's make another one. Let's do a little girl. So let's see. Oh, here's a little wedding girl. Oh, she might be fun. 
Maybe we can do her skirt in a different, maybe a pink. We can do the chiffon, maybe kind of like in this dusty pink. Where is it at? Come on. Is it this one? Yeah, this one. Let's do it in this dusty pink. Okay, now with this, we are gonna have to cut her hands up, cut around her hands. I think I might trim this piece off. I don't know if that's like part of her veil or what that is, but I think we're gonna trim that off. And then just cut around her sleeve and then cut along the bottom of her hand so that we can put her hands over her skirt. So it doesn't have to be precise, just trying to cut around so that her hand can fit on top. I need, think I need to do a little bit more. So let's go back in and cut. I'm trying to make sure that I don't cut along her, that I cut around her hand and not on her hand. Okay. And let's trim around just here, just to get her arm out. There, right? Okay, so again, we're gonna start from the bottom. And then I'm folding this under, so we can do it either way. We can do it this way with the fringe out, the whole shredded part on the bottom, or we can do it the opposite way and have it the fold on the bottom. You see that? So I think I like the fringe. So we're going to do the fringe to have that, the shredded um, on the bottom. So we're just going to fold that. And because it's very thin, it should be able to catch pretty well with, um, with the two layers. Now we're just going to go like this and start scrunching, scrunch, scrunch, scrunch before it dries. Okay, now scrunching, like I said, it will push the glue around. So all we're going to do is add just a tiny bit more, pushing it down and trimming. Then we can trim everything at the end if we need to. That looks cute already. And of course, you're gonna get little glue strips everywhere. The little, um, like the webbing of the glue. I'm sorry if you guys hear my voice a little weird. <clears throat> I feel like now that my kids start at school, I feel like all of us are getting sick again. It's like, ah, here we go again. We went all summer without any sicknesses. And now that they barely started school, my little one came home with the stuffy nose and a cough. And then my oldest too. And now I'm feeling a little funky. And then my son, he's like, mom, my throat hurts. So I'm like, oh man, it's going around. It's that time of year, I guess. Just cutting under. Okay, then I'm going to have to fold these up just a tiny bit so that I can get under their skirt, her skirt. Okay, we're going to go here. And then we're going to quickly fold this and put that on. Again, we're going to trim everything after. We'll make it look pretty after. I think I'm going to do one more layer and then we should be done. Okay. Right at her waist. Okay, 
See? This is why we cut underneath their arms and hands so it still looks like, you know, they're standing the way they should. Now this we're going to trim down a little bit. And then we're going to maybe shred it a little bit more. I want to get that little piece off. And then this side, the same. Just trying to shape it a little bit according to the original skirt. Okay, that looks okay. Now we can start shredding just the sides so it doesn't look too perfectly cut. So with this, it's perfect because all you have to do is just grab at the ends and then they start shredding. Isn't that cute? But of course you make a mess along the way. Okay, I think we might do like a little beige little belt because we need to cover. Or I could do one of the beige little bows that I got. Let me roll this up and put this away so I don't have a bunch of mess all over. So let's see, we do have this little beige one with a little pearl in the middle. Actually, I think that looks really cute. We can put it off to the side. Okay, let's do that. But this pearl is not right in the middle. It looks like it's sewed on. Oh no, it's coming off. Yep, it came off. Let me see if I can get another one that's better. Yeah, this one. Okay, let's just put this one down. Sorry. And then we'll put this little bow right here. Right off to the side so that you can still see her hand. So they're literally paper dolls. <laughs> so cute, right? And I love the way it looks when it's all shredded. So there's that. Let's do one more and then we'll make the tags and of course the tags are super easy but just so that you guys could see the finished product okay let's do let's do her i want to do black i want to do something black or should we do gray i think she might look better in gray Let's do gray. I haven't done gray yet, and I think gray would be fun. So we could do her skirt in gray. So let's do that. I need to take this little thing off. Do, can I still? Yeah, I could still pull it out. Okay. I think with her, we might be able to leave her arms because her arms are behind her. So we might be able to just leave it like that. So I think that would be really cool. But we'll do this the opposite way. We'll do her little, we won't do the fringy. We'll do it this way. So I think the, the clean fold might look better on her. Even though she's a little lacy, that would kind of look good if we did just a bunch of lace. But no, we'll do it just this way. Okay. Make up your mind, girl. And then put it down, scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. With the hot glue gun, if you're careful, I don't even feel it. I don't even feel the heat of it because of the, um, the layers. So if you have a hot glue gun, it's fine too. I'm gonna go ahead and fold this down so I have it ready and then we'll do another layer and then put that down very cute I think I missed that bottom layer there I'm just gonna put a dab of glue right there 
just to hold that part down. Come on. Cut that off. And again, we'll trim what we need to later. Okay, do another row. This was so much fun when I started doing it because I'm like, oh, I have so much ribbon. Then I saw and I'm like, oh man, I forgot I wanted to do something like that just to kind of jazz up their skirts. And then I was even thinking for the guys, like put like a little bow tie or suspenders or something just to kind of make them a little bit 3D. So I'm going to have to figure something out for them. But for now, I just really wanted to focus on the little dresses and skirts and stuff because I just thought that this was such a pretty idea. This is coming out really pretty. I really like the gray in this. And then I think one last layer. And this one would be done. One last little layer at the top here. Really wanting to scrunch that part up. And then cut that part off. Oh my gosh. <gasps> How pretty, how pretty is that? I love it. Okay, let's just trim off just a tiny bit here on the sides. And this one here, because I don't like the way that looks. Okay, ah, oh, wow, I like that one a lot. Okay, let's see, now what could we use as her little, should we do beige or should we jazz it up with just a little belt, like a little black one maybe? Or do we want to be fancy? Do we want to be fancy? I have this, <laughs> which, which way am I opening this? I have this silver trim. We can, we can be fancy if we want to but because she's kind of old school you know what I mean I don't know if let's see I don't know if this is something that we would think would look good I think it might be too thick let's see yeah too I think it's too much too much for her no, we're not doing that. But maybe we can do, let's see. Do I have, oh, I got tape stuck on my fingers. What is happening? <laughs> I can't get it off. I couldn't get it off. Let me see. Hmm. I'm trying to see if I have something else. Mm, should we do like a... I'm not sure how beige is going to look with this. No. No. I think we need to keep it... Let me just get another little I'm struggling guys to see what I want to use as her belt we could just do a, ba a basic black I think we'll do that that looks a little bit more chic compared to her skirt So, 
what we're gonna do is because I don't like the way it's gonna look just flat like this so guess what we're gonna do I'm going to get my craft knife and I'm gonna make a little slit right at her waist right where I want the belt to tuck in and we're gonna stick it through there so just a little bit of a slit just enough to fit the belt because see it's already open over here so I want it to be open here so that we can stick her belt through so I'm just gonna wiggle it just a tiny bit and then put this in see if I could do it without yep got it okay and then we can wrap this through here and then okay so that's what we're doing so let's just put just a little row of glue there wrap this around making it look nice and neat and then we're gonna wrap this around here so let me get my tweezers come on there it is and then just put a little dab of glue there come on and then a little bit over here just to kind of close it up so we're gonna close this up here and then do the same over here. I just feel like I just feel like it looks neater instead of having the edges exposed. See? And then maybe we can put like a little pearl or something on the corner. That would be pretty. I have these pearls, but I think they might be too thick. I thought I had, yeah. I have this strip of pearls. So we're gonna cut one off. We're just gonna cut one little pearl off. And then we're gonna cut these little edges off. Might have to do it with these scissors too. If I can keep it in my hand long enough to cut it. Come on now. I just want to cut off these little strings because I don't like the way those look. And the last one. And then we can add just a dot of glue. Just a dot. And then try to see if I could do this with my tweezers. There. Just taking off the little strings of glue. But there we have it. There she is. Isn't that pretty? Okay, let's make the tags. Now, of course, you guys keep going because these are fabulous. I absolutely love the way they look. I'm going to turn off my glue gun because we're not going to use that anymore. And get all of my laces out of the way I will organize them again later just getting everything out of the way guys real quick now let's cut down I think I have a strip here have a couple strips here that we could use so let's see will this fit her yep yeah should that'll fit her and then let's see this one I just like to use the black base because I feel like it kind of yeah that's really pretty okay and we'll probably cut that about here and get my little trimmer out and then I might need another piece for this little girl. So, let me see. I 
I'm thinking. I don't want to take out my big trimmer. So let me just cut it this way first. And then I can trim it down. Because your girl's lazy, I don't want to take out. I don't want to take out my other trimmer. It's too big. I like using my little one. I just want to make sure that I have enough space. Yeah. So let's cut this. And then we'll cut the top. Just so that I have enough space. All right. There's our tags. I'm going to get my corner punch. Oh, sorry. I hit my elbow on my table. I like using this corner punch. So we're going to use the biggest one, which isn't very big, but... I like it anyways, so we're just going to cut the corners on all of them so that they're ready. Okay. So let me make sure whose is whose. I think this one was hers and this one was hers. Yeah. All right. So, fun part. Let me move everything out of the way. Okay, let's do her first. I'm just going to take out, mm, let's do some of the memoir. We can put this in the back. Just something simple. We're not going to go too over the top. And maybe, so you guys can see what I'm grabbing. be cute for her the butterflies would probably be cute for her let's see oh I kind of like this I kind of like this one I could cut the top off of that I think that would be cool right let me trim the top off of this one save that for later I think I am going to corner around these because this one is already come on there it goes I'm not going to ink anything I just want to put them together really quick because I love the way they came out on the tags these ladies look so cute the ladies and the girls they look really chic on the tags. I love it. And then, you know, I'm still on that kick with black, with the black paper because of the... Ooh, what if we did like a... Is that too, like, straight? Let me see. Mm, do I like that? No. I've been on that kick with um, the... The black, using the black paper for the black and white challenge that we did. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still kind of on doing that. I loved it. I did decorate some, and I put like little. I don't see anything that I like in here. Let's go into keepsakes. Oh, this little flower, pretty. That would be pretty to put up here. But you can tell that I, I used it and I trimmed it down. So I kind of have to make it look like if it's supposed to be like that. That'd be pretty. Maybe just a little something here, though. I could use this red strip. It'll make it pop a little bit. Yeah, we'll do that about here. We'll do this about here. We'll 
put it about here. And then we'll add our flowers just to the top where her head is gonna be. And then we're gonna add the eyelet and the ribbon. I still have glue on my fingers. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's gonna look good. We're gonna add the eyelet and the ribbon um, after we're done because I don't like to work around the eyelet. I like to have everything done and then put the eyelet on. So like that, it's easier for us to just do what we're gonna do. I might cut into her head though. <laughs> Oh, but I like it. Let's do. We'll do. I normally do the bigger one. I think I might be able to pull it off. Let's see. I might get a little bit of her head. Yeah, I did. That's okay, though. Let me get my. My eyelids out. I think we'll stick with black. Yeah, we'll stick with black. Put that down. I need the bigger one. And here. Okay, and then for the ribbon part of it let's do let's put the gray again so that it matches her skirt now here I'm just going to grab just some and then I'll cut it kind of like down the middle so that it's not too thick because I don't want the ribbon to be too thick so we're just gonna cut it down the middle and then we'll shred it to use that as our ribbon for the tag keep that and then we just shred And I'm going to leave some of the little shredded parts because I just think it looks cool. So I really don't even pull them out completely. Let's see? And then... I might need my little threader for this one. So we'll get my little threader out. Put this in, put it through, not all the way, so that we can open and pull it through. And there you have it. There's our first tag. Isn't that cute? Let's do one more. Let's do, let's do her. We can put this one to kind of accentuate the pink that she has. <gasps> That'll be pretty. And then I need something else. I kind of like the whole floral thing. I don't know if I have more florals in here. Oh, I do have this one. Yeah, I think this will work. Put the florals like that. Should I do it the opposite way so that the florals come out on the side better? So let's put this maybe more on the bottom. Put this more up at the top. Right? And then put her over here. That'll look good. I just, I don't like that empty space there or up there. So... Let's see, let's put this up a little bit further. And then we need something here. 
So what could we put? Mm. I do have this. We could put this. That, that might fill up the space just a tad bit more. Yeah. And then just put a little something up here. How about this? It costs 25 cents to wherever she's going. All right, we'll do that. I think I want to put the flowers down first because you're not going to be able to see them anyways. And I like the way, well, no, we're going to do this first. Put this down here. Then put this down. Right a little bit below. Still leaving that border because I like to see the black on the back. And then we can put her here. Yeah. Something simple but still really pretty. Oops, well that wasn't smart. And put her here, yep, I like it. And then we'll just put this little 25 cent right here at the corner, right there. Now for this, we can put the pink This. Oh, I have this one. This one's already cut. We can use this one. Let me just shred this just a tiny bit. Let me get it off to the side over here. Okay. And then we need our eyelet. This one I could put here. Um... I think I'm gonna put a rose gold one here because she's kind of pinky. So we'll put the rose gold. Yeah, that looks pretty. And then we'll add this. And her little ribbon. And then she'll be ready to go. Again, using my little threader tool. Getting on the inside, and we're gonna pull this through. Aww, isn't that pretty? So I think that's all we have time for you guys. I am so happy with the way they came out. I absolutely love them. Let me know which technique was your favorite. If you like the lace, the little chiffon with the shred, the non-shred, the little silver skirt, the tutu. <laughs> Aren't they cute? And then I have the lady in the white dress, the little girl in the black dress, black and white trim. Oh, I love them. I'll have to fix this one later. But I gotta go, guys. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little um, craft with me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.